Unfortunately, our air quality in the winter can get pretty nasty sometimes, and that's because we have these beautiful mountains. Um, when we have these high pressure systems roll in, um, our, everything we emit into the air gets trapped. We know that there are uh, impacts um, for people with um, heart and lung issues, our most vulnerable, um, pregnant women, um, the very young and the very old, and a whole host of other health impacts from poor air quality. So that makes it very important for the city and everyone really, um, residents, businesses, visitors, to, to help do something about it. So that's a big reason that the Clear the Air Challenge is such a fabulous opportunity to not only have some fun and change up your routine, but to really make a dent in those, um, in those emissions. So the way the Clear the Air Challenge works is you track your trips on a dashboard, whether you've uh, walked or biked or taken the bus or the train, whether you've skipped a trip, so teleworking, or whether you have um, carpooled with a coworker, perhaps some friends or significant others, or whether you have um, trip chained, so that you can minimize the amount of driving you are doing if you have to do it. There's a lot of ways you can participate that um, don't mean totally leaving your car at home for a month, but even if you just do a little bit, um, it can make a big impact to our air. But even more than that, there's a lot of ways that people can help improve the air quality year round, just in, in what they do it with their homes and in their daily lives. Don't burn wood. Turn that thermostat down a degree or two. Uh, make sure you're not idling your car if you are driving. We're hoping that we can encourage people to adopt some of these behavior changes and commuting changes year round. So you can sign up for the Clear the Air Challenge on cleartheairchallenge.org. And if you want information and tips on air quality, visit slcgreen.com as well as ucare.org.